grade 8 math number 11.1D, we're going to talk about finding unknown angle measures in this video. To find an unknown angle measure, we need to rely on the knowledge that right angles are 90 degrees, complementary angles will total 90 degrees, and that supplementary angles will total 180 degrees. We can find any unknown angle measure when two parallel lines are cut by a transversal if we're given one angle measure. So we saw in the last couple of videos, there's only two angle measures if it's cut by par the parallel lines are cut by a transversal, right? The second supplementary angle plus that one angle measure will total 180 degrees, right? If we've got a set of parallel lines and it's cut by a transversal and we've got one angle measure, well, there's only two angle measures in this whole thing out of the eight angles, so if we've got one of them, we know we definitely have four of them because they're all going to be the same as this one. And whatever this one is added to this one is going to total that 180. All right. So let's see how this works. So we've got this set of parallel lines and this transversal cutting through it. If the measure of angle one, this orange one right here, is 110 degrees, then the measure of angle two has got to be 70 because they have to total 180 degrees together. They're supplementary angles. They're side by side. See that? We know the measure of angle 2 has to be 70 degrees. All right? Now, what if the measure of angle 1 is 110 degrees and we're trying to find the measure of angle 8? Here's the measure of angle 1. Here's angle 8. Well, they're alternate because they're on opposite sides of the transversal. Exterior, because they're on the outside of the parallel lines alternate exterior angles. And alternate exterior angles, they're on opposite sides of the transversal line and they're the same angle, so they're congruent. So if the measure of angle 1 is 110 degrees, the measure of angle 8 is 110 degrees. See? It has to be. All right? Just don't assume to know an angle measure just based on how it looks, just by its appearance, okay? Have something to back it up, like their supplementary angles or their alternate exterior angles, okay? All right, let's take a look at this one. If we want to find the measure of angle VWZ, remember when you see this little symbol, that means the angle, okay? If we want to find the measure of angle VWZ, and remember the middle letter is the vertex, so V is right here, W is right here, and Z is right here, so this orange angle is VWZ. The W is the vertex, see that? Well, we know it's supplementary to YVW. Here's Y, here's V, and here's W. So the V is the vertex. So here's the V, that's the blue one here. Well, we know that because they're on the same side in their interior, they're supplementary and they're going to total 180 degrees. That's the rule. So we know that 3X plus 6X has to equal 180 degrees. The measure of the angle, when you see a little M, that means measure of angle VWZ plus the measure of angle YVW equals 180 degrees, okay? So anytime you see the little M with the little angle like that, it means measure of angle, all right? So we know if we added these two together, it would be 180 degrees because they'd be, they're supplementary, okay? So we can rewrite this as a linear equation. 3X plus 6X is going to equal 180 or 3x degrees plus 6x degrees equals 180 degrees. You remember what we did when we did linear equations? We combined like terms, the 3x and the 6x, and got 9x. Now, we just need to isolate x to one side by dividing both sides by 9. You remember that, right? So now, 9 over 9 becomes our friend, the invisible 1, right? So it's just an x, and 180 divided by 9 is 20. Because 9 goes into 18 two times, and we just add the 0, so it's 20 degrees. But we're not done. x equals 20, but do you remember, this says it's 3x, and that's 6x. So we're not done. We still need to multiply by 3x and 6x. That's a big mistake a lot of people make. So don't accidentally put the value of x as the angle measure. We still need to multiply it. So the measure of angle VWZ is 3 times 20. See, it's 3x. So we need three of these. So that's 60. And the measure of angle YVW is 6 times 20. It was 6x. So that's 120. So now we know the orange one is 60 and the blue one is 120. 
And if this is 60 and this is 120, we know what all the other six angle measures are, don't we? Because if we just have one, we know them all. We know that this one has to be 120. We know that this one is going to be 60. See? Because these two have to equal 180. If this is 120, this one's got to be 60. If this is 60, that's got to be 120. If this is 120, this one's got to be 60. Because going this way, along the transversal, they make a supplementary pair. See that? And if this one's 60, then that one's got to be 120. Because going along this way, they make a supplementary pair. We can get all eight angle measures. See that? All right, we're going to continue on with one last video for 11.1. It's going to be 11.1 E, and we're going to talk about doing this as a linear equation more, okay? Because sometimes the linear equations get a little more difficult. So I'm going to show you a couple examples on that, all right? And we'll move on to the next topic, all right? I'll see you there. Bye.